This would be the massive tightening that we referred to earlier when Will tightens anything. Yeah, I mean, if you look at that, it's like, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Those threads are crying. Yeah. I mean, because if you, if you look really carefully, you'll see that this is where the lock washer has made it, and that's where I stopped turning it. <laughs> um, here's that main jet. The main jet goes in the main jet hole. And that's a 10 mil, so... This one will tend to leak if you don't have it tight enough, so you want it to be stiff, but not... Again, not incredibly tight. A little RTV wouldn't be a terrible idea. Yeah, probably not. Alright, and then... Screw pilot air adjusting. <clears throat> so what you're going to do with this guy is... Take your flathead screwdriver. And really, what you're going to do is mate it all the way down and then turn it out uh, one and one quarter turns. Because that's the uh, standard factory setting. And then from there, you, have, you know, when you put it back on the bike, you tune it from there. And one thing that, uh, if you had this thing running on your bike, and then you, so you think, well, I can just put it back where it was. Actually, you can't because uh, by cleaning it, you're going to change your inherent mixture and everything. So you're going to have to retune it. So here's one half, one, one quarter, and the idle screw. Take that down until it mates. Just like that, and that's back. One. Well, that's one turn, one and one half. Just like that, and then we got to put the choke back together. So the way the choke works is put that back in here, and our little rubber buddy. It's just a big pain. All right. And then, first is this little guy, which is the, the clip that holds the choke lever in position. And then the washer that holds that in position. Following that is the actual lever assembly. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And then you can see how the choke mechanism actually functions there. Alrighty. Drop that back in. Screw it right down. And that is the 12 mil, which is conveniently on the other end of the 10 mil in the Suzuki toolkit that was aforementioned. All right, right now. Time for a musical interlude of the changing of the fancy technologies. <coughs> And one thing I wanted to add about these, uh, about the carburetors, is as you're putting everything together, you'll, you'll notice it's really simple. And uh, just when you're when you're cleaning those out, make sure that as the carburetor cleaner is uh, is coming through all of the little ports, that uh, you want to make sure that all those ports on the carb are really clean, because any one of those any one of those ports being off is going to really affect your mixture. All right. So now. It's ready to go back to the bike. Not quite. Yeah. So you have to take it back to the bike. Ah. Hypothetically speaking, if you forget to put something back in... Now would be the time to do it. I don't recognize this spring, however. something else. Okay. <laughs> um, so we're back at our bike. 
And uh, what I like to do is uh, take our throttle cable here, and with this still attached, there's no reason to take it off. Alright, so what I do is I have the throttle sleeve close at hand, and just fish the throttle cable all the way through, and then compress the spring by putting two hands, two fingers rather, back here. Squeezing this down and holding it with that thumb, like that. Put that through the big hole. Move it over to the little hole so it gets caught, just like that. And then there is a small uh, dip in the carburetor right there, and that's there because it lines up with that slide. So line everything up, and it should drop right down in. Just like that. This part can be a bit of a challenge with that spring in the way. It's going to take your time and make sure that you get it lined up just right. Alright, now everybody knows about that really annoying uh, rubber boot that the carburetor end goes into. I have found the way to get it in there with relative ease. So you imagine that that's going to come out to about right here where my hand is, and then you have to force the carburetor in. Now don't take that out, I've seen people do that. What you do is you're actually going to, so the opening is about here. I would, I'd show you on a real one, I just don't have one handy. And you're going to put one end in, and then force the carburetor around like so and it'll actually uh, stuff into stuff into it and you're pulling back on it with both hands and then bring it forward and it'll mate like this and that rubber boot will stay on it tighten up the boot tighten up the bolts you're ready to ride Yeah. Hey. 